Concealment or convenience? Today we're going to take a look at a company that's bringing you both. I'm Joe Kurtenbach, and this is Lock, Stock, and Barrel. Alien Gear burst onto the concealed carry scene with an aggressive social media campaign, one that frankly even took me by surprise. I remember sitting at my desk at American Rifleman thinking, who is this company and why haven't I heard of them? Now the products they started out with were basically winged inside the waistband concealment holsters, much like this one. This is actually the Cloak Tuck 3. This is the most recent iteration of it. But Alien Gear took it a step further using synthetic materials and including a spring steel interior insert that really helps maintain retention in the holster. They're very comfortable, they're very effective. So the next thing I wanted to see from Alien Gear was an outside the waistband holster. And more specifically, I wanted a paddle. So let's talk about paddle holsters real quick. The main thing about them is convenience. As a everyday carrier, uh, as I go through, through my day, you know, be it to work, be it to pick up the kids at school, um, maybe I don't got to report for jury duty. There are times when I have to take that gun off because I'm entering a gun-free zone or a gun-restricted zone. So I was very excited at the 2016 SHOT Show when I spoke to the Alien Gear guys and they told me, hey Joe, guess what we're coming out with? This is the Cloak Mod outside the waistband holster. And there are a couple of really interesting features going on here. Uh, first, and totally useless, is the alien head clip. Uh, the clip itself is not useless, but I mean, this is alien gear. The fact that they put an alien head here in the paddle, is, it's just cool. Um, otherwise, maybe most important to me is they somehow got the clip just right. The polymer they used has the correct amount of springiness to retain the holster when it's on, but also to be easy to put on and off. Um, one thing you'll see carried over from their cloak tuck line of holsters is the shell system. Now this is a full coverage shell. It covers the front sight post, covers the trigger guard, uh, and they use these in their uh, IWB designs and basically they can be interchanged. So here I've got an example for a uh, commander size 1911 and a Springfield uh, 3.8 XDM. Uh, and basically if I wanted to, I could remove these two shells and swap them on the paddles. Uh, it's too easy. A lot of people already have shells and inside the waistband holsters with this paddle, you could buy it for a different gun. Your shells are interchangeable, so now you've got compatibility for both your IWB holster and now your OWB holster. As well, they've retained the spring steel interior. Uh, this is actually a multi-layer design, but one of the layers is that spring steel, so you get a little bit of spring right on the inside, pushing the gun up against the polymer shell to really ensure good retention, good fit, make sure that gun is not going to move. So here's the real test putting the holster on, taking it off. And like I said, I think these guys got it just right. You can just slide it over your belt into the pants. Nothing is not going anywhere. Um, here we've got an XDM, it's unloaded. Put that on in, retention is great. I mean, they're gonna have to pull the pants over my head to get it off. Um, you know, draw is nice and easy. I gotta watch my layers here. But no problems there. And then if I want to take it off, it comes off very simply. I mean, this is a great design. I think they really nailed the features. And like I said, that uh, using the shell system, the same one they use in their IWB holsters, makes for a level of compatibility and interchangeability that is just, it's just not seen anywhere else in the industry. Going even a step further, uh, like their IWB holsters, um, every one of these is going to ship with spacers and screws so you can adjust the cant, you can adjust the, the fit, the retention, but you're also going to get a belt slide. So if, for whatever reason, paddle's not your thing today, but you do like the, the whole system, uh, you can go ahead and put the belt slide on there, it goes right on the back in place of the paddle, and uh, you've got yourself an outside the waistband holster on your belt. Now I'm not looking at this just through rose colored glasses either though, I think they've nailed a lot of things here, but a couple things you're going to notice is that this is not the most concealable or the most compact holster design. It is a little bit, certainly not the bulkiest, but it is a little bit bulky, um, which is, you know, totally fine, especially for a range holster or if you're going to wear a jacket or a heavier outer layer, but I mean you're not really going to be concealing this as deeply as you would with say the Cloak Tuck 3.0 or another concealment holster 
overall, it's a really kind of brilliant design. They've taken some of their improvements from their earlier IWB holsters and included them here, as well as a few more advancements. And like I said, maybe the most important thing is that clip, to me, it's just right. It's the right amount of retention. So if you're interested in Alien Gear's cloak mod, outside the waistband holster, or any of their cloak tuck IWB designs, go to aliengearholster.com. We'll see you next time on Lock, Stock, and Barrel.